Chapter 112, State of Sorrow, Hyun Ki met a fatal and tragic car accident that led to his demise, leaving Riel as a widow and his son, Hyung Sik, an orphan. Gone was Hyun Ki's dream of having a family of his own, seeing his son grow up into a handsome and successful businessman, a son who would take the reign of his business one day. The days were filled with lament, anguish, and torment. Flower wreaths and standing bouquets filled the funeral home. A big picture frame of Hyun Ki was displayed on the casket's cover, surrounded by white lilies. People of renowned social status, Korean businessmen, and the city mayor gathered in the chapel with Hyun Ki's parents, Mr. Han Myung, and his wife, Hwan Chul, and his sister, Dr. Sumi joined Riel with Young Sik and her mom, Dr. Kalma, and her sisters, Zia and Donna, and attorney Andrew, Donna's husband who once was, in a not-so-distant past, became Hyun Ki's rival over Riel. Also present during the funeral was Nancy, Riel's closest friend and Wilson, Nancy's husband. They were also joined in by Alexis and Louis, Hyun Ki's secretaries, the city's town bank people, Juni, Hyun's chauffeur and his bodyguards, and Akio Hinod, and all of his employees. Before Hyun Ki's casket was a table where candles, joss sticks, and white chrysanthemums were placed, the guests honored the deceased in a Korean tradition by lighting a joss stick, setting it to its stand, then putting a white chrysanthemum on the casket, since it is the third day, before Hyun Ki shall be brought to his grave, Huan Chul was assigned to give the eulogy, here lies my brother, Han Hyun Ki, who unexpectedly left this world, leaving his wife, Han Gabrielle Mari, widow, and orphaned his one-year-old son, Hyung Sik, had left us to grieve, that I for one, could not believe that he would leave us this early. He had been making growth plans for the business, excited to expand the industry for his son, Hyung Sik, only to leave Riel, and me to manage everything he has worked for. I could not contain this feeling I had for my brother, Hyun Ki who never got tired of teaching me about the industry, and had been patient and caring, for all the people who worked for the company. He set rules and made policies, that would benefit the company, and the people surrounding the industry. Now that he is gone, may the Lord help Riel and me, run the business as he did, that may Hyun's spirit always be here to guide, and help us get through the industry. I also wish to thank my sister-in-law Gabrielle Han, for making Hyun Ki see the best of himself. Since Riel came into his life, I saw many good changes in him, that made him a better person. He may not be perfect, as he has made many mistakes in his life too. Still, having witnessed how he changed so much, especially in running the business, and caring for his people in the industry, I salute my brother. The success of this company was through my brother, Hyun Ki's work, dedication, and perseverance. I love you, Hyun Ki and I will truly miss you, my only brother. You can now rest in peace during the ceremony. Riel's recall of the past with Hyun Ki came to life again in her thoughts. Hyun Ki and Riel were in his condo, decorating the place to be their haven, whenever they wanted, to be alone. Let us get married, Riel. I wanted to have a family with you. I wanted to build a huge mansion, where our kids could move and play around freely. You will always be there to care for them help them grow and develop into better persons, like their mother, who I loved so dearly. What will happen then, to this apartment we were decorating right now hum? Are we leaving it for the huge mansion you dreamed of? And how about me? Do you mean I will be a stay-at-home mom? Don't you want me to be with you at work anymore? You will be with me all the time, while waiting for our first baby. And then, all you have to be is, become the queen of my home, always there waiting for me, which I will be excited to get, home. All you have to do is manage our home, supervise our house staff, go shopping, visit friends, and all that woman stuff. You know Hyun Ki was staring at her dreamily. Wow, that would be fun. But tell me, sweetheart, how would your reaction be if you ever saw my stomach bloated like a balloon, and I am not sexy anymore? Having added more weight, wouldn't you be tempted to look at other sexy women, Riel? Asked frankly. Hmm. By the looks of it, maybe I will, Riel cut in angrily. You see? You want me to be pregnant so you could have an excuse to look at other women. Hariel stood away from Hyun Ki pouting, her arms crossed by her chest. Ha 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 ha, I am not finished with what I am about to say, and you're already angry, I said, maybe I will, only to see if they would match your beauty my love. No one could ever replace you, Riel, that is how much you are to me, my only love. Recalling this memory of the past with Hyun, Ki made her realize that Hyun Ki had already failed her since their marriage, and yet, she loved him so much that, to this day, Hyun Ki had a special place in her heart, despite his shortcomings and misdemeanor. 
She was angry. That was natural for an aggrieved wife, but having left her suffering and fighting her life with her child was unforgivable for her but she still gave him that chance to let Hyung Sik know him. As his father, Riel was still in a state of grief. Her silence was deafening, and all she did was weep. Mr. Han Myong and Dr. Kalma were already worried about Riel. They learned that she had not slept for days since Hyun Ki passed away. She was always seen by Hyun Ki's casket, staring at him with unspoken words. She could not eat. She seldom drank water or any liquid given to her. Mrs. Han, Hyun Ki's mother, went to her, hugged her, and said, "Be strong, Riel, for your son, our grandson. He needs you now more than anyone else." Now that Hyun is gone, are you also leaving your son? Look at Hyun Sik. His eyes are always on you, wondering why you are so silent and always crying. Please, Riel, accept that Hyun is now gone, and your son is still here, waiting for your embrace. Riel looked at Hyun Sik glumly, then gave him her sweet smile. Hyun Sik was delighted that he ran towards her. Mommy, I love you. Hyun Sik embraced Riel and said, "Please don't cry. I am here, mommy." Riel hugged her son tearfully and kissed him, making him feel that she missed him. She stood with Young Sik and followed Hyun Ki's family as the casket was carried to the funeral car to his grave. After the priest's blessing, they all watched Hyun Ki's casket push inside the niche of the mausoleum. Everyone was placing flowers above Hyun Ki's grave. Everyone started to leave except Dr. Kalma, her sisters Donna and Zia, as well as Nancy and Wilson. Nancy embraced Riel and said. I feel your grief, Riel, but you must remain strong for your son, Hyung Sik. I suggest you leave this place to rid your mind off. Hyun Ki Donna added, "Yes, Riel. Please return home with mom. It would be easier for you to recover from your grief. See old friends and places you once went with your friends. Do not lock your thoughts in loneliness. Go home with us, Riel, so we can also enjoy being with Hyung Sik. He is so lovable and a joy to be with. Please," Donna pleaded. However. Riel was still glued to her seat in tears, watching the men finish Hyun Ki's niche. Huan Chul pressed Riel's shoulders, letting her know everyone was leaving. She didn't budge and remained seated. Akio approached Dr. Kalma and Huan Chul, saying, "You may go ahead. I'll be with Riel until she decides to leave. I'll take care of Young Sik too," he said assuringly. All of the guests and family members of Riel and Hyun Ki have left. Riel was still seated, and Akio sat behind Riel. Patiently waiting while Ruby, the nanny, entertained Young Sik to keep him from getting unruly and rowdy. While Akio was seated behind Riel, she stood to go near Hyun's grave, but felt giddy, almost losing her balance. Akio was quick to hold her, then Riel fainted. Akio carried Riel while calling Ruby and Young Sik. They immediately ran towards Akio's Range Rover and rushed Riel to the hospital. Riel had been unconscious for two days, and when she woke up, Riel found her mom worried about her disposition. Riel, you need to get a hold of yourself. This is not the end of your world, and you still have a son to care for. You need to have a complete rest away from here. Go home with me to the metropolis, so I can care for you and my grandson. It would be best if you regain strength to make you stronger for your son. As long as you stay here, you cannot stop thinking about Hyun, which is not helping at all. Riel, Doctor Kalma, Riel's mom, advised her to go home with her, leave the city to regain her strength and forget her. Loss, the grief and sorrow she had gone through made her depressed, and it was not helping her at all. Riel cried again, her heart so heavy that no compassionate words could contain her feelings. Was I crying because I told Hyun not to see me again, ever? Was this guilt, or was it because I am still hurting from what he did to me? He was never true to his words, always lied to my face, and yet he would say he loved me. And now that he was gone, he could never fix the bad things he did. Asking for a second chance, if only for his son. He was so unfair, Mom. He was so unfair. Mrs. Kalma comforted Riel, knowing it would take time before her daughter healed from her wounded heart and hurtful memories from Hyun Ki. Now that Hyun Ki is gone forever in her life, what will happen to Riel? Keep following the windows of the Heart series on my YouTube and TikTok channels. Few episodes were left towards the ending. Thank you.